United Solo Theatre Festival, the world's largest festival of one-man shows, started in New York. For the first time, a Turk performed at this specific festival. Who is this Turk? I'm talking about no one other than Fadik Sevin Atasoy. Welcome, it's Halloween. There are all kinds of people on the streets. Bunnies. You see them over there. Cities that walk the most? Istanbul and New York. It so really walking. is. This city never stops, yeah. never sleeps. When they ask me what kind of city Istanbul is, I always say, um, Istanbul is like a nice spicy version of New York, so that they can understand. That's a very good analogy. <laughs> then the Americans understand me. Oh, New York has bridges and so on. Yes, Istanbul also has bridges, but Istanbul has better spices. New York has tremendous graffiti. I highly recommend you to see them. There are graffiti tours, you should join them. You can also have an idea about the history of New York from past to the present, thanks to all of this graffiti. My favorite thing is looking at the graffiti of the city. Of course, they have wonderful museums. MoMA and the Guggenheim Museum are absolute must-see museums. Uh, it's constantly changing and you can come across new museums. I highly recommend taking a look at the history of the graffiti as well. Uh, on the streets and the graffiti highway, it's very inspiring. I even wrote the final song of my show in a room with all these graffiti. I can feel the beat of life. I can feel the beat of life. I was inspired by that and that's how I ended up writing that part. Um, so although this is a city that really revolves around Wall Street and money and it is also an incredible city for artists and creators. So this here is one of the most popular coffee shops in New York. They wrote very nice things in the comments. Uh, so yes, it's one of the best rated coffee shops. I'll tell you a secret. Usually, everyone comes to Times Square, but the real New Yorkers never come here. <laughs> it's the truth, because this is a tourist place. Those who live here don't come here. They even run this away. This is the first place where people from all over the world From all the over world the world visit. visit, because they marketed this place to the world perfectly. They created a good perception. It's tremendous. There are a lot of screens. All advertisements are done here. All TV shows are made here. But I'm just here to show you what it's all about. People who live in New York never come here or even cross the street. They prefer the other streets because there are so many tourists here. Millions of people come here in droves. You should still come and see it once. Visit at least once. Just once. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Do you want to take I a see photo? No, not from here. Happy Halloween. Thank you, you too. Hello. See you guys. No? Okay, bye. Okay. When I walk down the street, sometimes people say, I love your jacket, which just happened to Funda. A lady said, oh, where did you buy your jacket? Or they say, I love your hat. People you never know come up and compliment you if they like your outfit. Once my friend said, they compliment you. Do they know you? No. Here, it's extremely natural to compliment someone that you've never known before. It's so nice.
thought you looked kind of familiar. That's how I do it. You wouldn't believe it, it's exactly you. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Be careful. New York subways are the best ways of transport. I recommend that you take the subway. Taxis are very hard to find in the city. I learned how to whistle in New York. Oh, very good. <laughs> I'm doing this to stop a taxi. I'll try again. Look, it's here. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Going to the park. The great thing about New York is that in such a complex city, you can find a park on every street. There are areas where you can catch your breath and relax. Bryant Park's feature is that an ice rink is being installed there on New Year's Eve. I love ice skating, but are you going I can't ice skating? Do it because I know I'm going <laughs> to end up breaking a leg. I will. This place glitters at night. People ice skate. I come here every New Year's Eve and ice skate. Uh, but I can't do it this time because I made a promise. I shouldn't break my bones. <laughs> no ice skating this year because I have shows that I need to do. <laughs> How do you explore the city? Where do you start exploring? I think it's necessary to make friends first in that city mm -hmm. because the local people are the ones who know the city best. Uh, you should pick a grocery store uh, and a cafe that you go to. You should explore the streets on foot. Sculptures are very important to me mm -hmm. because sculptures show and depict the city. Sune Akin has a saying that I love. Uh, sculptures are built on cultures so that we don't forget. Um, apart from that, take the subway, use uh, that means of transportation, um, make plenty of friends, have lots of conversations with them, because it's the local people who can tell you where you really should be going. I have a favorite supermarket that I go to when I'm in New York. I don't have breakfast in restaurants ever. I just don't do it. I'd rather go and buy some cheese, you know, or get whatever it is that I need. I love having an outdoor picnic in New York, especially in Central Park. Oh, it's so beautiful. You can put your blanket down, invite your friends. You have a picnic that lasts for hours if the weather is good. Don't try it in winter. You will freeze. Great suggestion. Fifteen years ago, when my dad and I came to New York, we had a Broadway show. My destiny changed in the USA, and I went to Berlin, uh, then to Edinburgh, and then Italy, all with my suitcase. I worked in every city I went to. I lived in Los Angeles for nearly 12 years, yes. Um, I did it all with this red suitcase. I came up with this theater show, Muse, during that journey. Red suitcases on the show, all those journeys, all the cities that I've ever lived in, made me write this show. Uh, in fact, Muse took all its inspiration first in New York and then staged in Los Angeles. If only this red suitcase could speak. What could it say? It's already covered in scratches. So many, so many memories. Of course, I also wrote a book about it for Dick and the Red Suitcase. It's not based on adventures, it's actually a magical journey. Fadik Sevin welcomed us to her New York adventure. Now she's returning to Istanbul because... Because I got a TV show. And because... Because Shengu is because waiting for Shengu me. Because is waiting for her. <laughs> See you later. Keep on shengling. <laughs> shengling. Shengling. <laughs>